All right, let's get ready for baseball. Matt Willitson, the right-hander, will start things off for NC State. We'll give you the Quinnipiac lineup here in a second. That first pitch is lined hard off the glove of Josh Hood and into left field for a base hit. So that's Anthony D'Onofrio, uh, the leadoff hitter. Action on the bases, and this team will run. Pitch is butted on. Coming over is Willitson. He makes the play not in time to first base as Kyle Maves beats it out. One thing about Quinnipiac could result in a double play, but they are Runners ball. are going. That pitch is low ball four. And Willitson is in a big time jam here with nobody out. Pull it off here. And the pitch. Tap toward short. Green will play it on the hop and throw to first just in time to get La Chance. So a run will score. The runners advance if it's put up the middle. And the pitch on the way, hit in the air, down the left field line. That is going to get down and into the corner. Around third and coming in to score is Mueller and Quinnipiac is on top by the score of 3-0. Two balls and two strikes. The pitch is swung on into the air center field. It'll get down for a base hit. Melnick will be held at third and that is a single and that puts runners at first and third and one out. Second run in that two run third inning I believe. Swung on and missed and the ball gets away from Cozart coming in to score is Melnick going down to second is Cone. I'm sorry not Cone. O'Connor. Two balls two strikes two outs four nothing Quinnipiac. Swung on and missed strike three. Four runs come across. Connor hit it pretty hard but foul. Line drive toward the hole off the glove of Green and into left field. Gets away from Chase Nixon. Balls, two strikes, two outs. Man on second, the pitch. Ball four. Action in the Wolfpack bullpen. That pitch is swung on, hit in the air to left field. Coming over is Nixon. It'll play it on a bounce. Around third and coming in to score is O'Connor. Going into third safely is Yujima. And D'Onofrio is at second with a two-out run scoring double. Solid piece of hitting there by D'Onofrio. And it looked like Nixon kind of ca got caught in between. Should I lay out for it or, or should I let it bounce? The one, one bunted down the third base line. That is going to roll and stay fair. No play anywhere. And that is an RBI single for Kyle Maves. It is six, nothing. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. And the pitch. In the dirt, ball four. Top of the fourth, the pitch. Swung on line, left field, Chase Nixon coming on. He will make the catch to retire the side. And that pitch is swung on and hit deep to left field. Josh Hood has put the Wolfpack on the board. A long home run to left and it is six to one. Quinnipiac and right on cue NC State able to get on the board Josh Hood's first home run in the NC State uniform and you know the Wolfpack getting that first run of the day stay with runners at the corners and the pitch grounded towards short Taylor made double play to second for one on the first the double play to retire the side cider gets a big hit and the Wolfpack strand a runner but they get one and cider first pitch dumped into left field by souls for a base hit so the leadoff man aboard now the souls will take his lead off first cider comes set and the pitch swung on hit in the air right field and deep going back is melnick looking up it is gone home run number eight on the year for tommy white it is now six to three, Quinnipiac. I mean, what more, what more can you say about Tommy White, Adam? I'm, I'm truly running out of words for what this freshman, and 
he's only a freshman by the collegiate standards. He's so mature at the plate. And I think this is the first home run I have actually seen him go opposite field. And he climbed the scoreboard with that. Just an absolute rocket off the bat of Tommy White. When you can hit the ball, I mean, that hit the scoreboard. It's the third baseman hit in the air, left field, deep, going back, looking up, it's gone. Sam Lachance. Big swing, home run, first of the year, and Quinnipiac extends to a 7-3 lead. And that's a big run for Quinnipiac. It makes it to where a potential grand slam opportunity no longer puts the Wolfpack back in front. And you see right there, Lachance, he knew it was gone off the bat. Just caught too much of the middle of the plate from Carson Kelly. He's worked three and a third, and the pitch is lined over the head of LeJames Groover and into right field. Groover actually never came to bat, and then a hit batter. So this inning has not started off well for Carson Kelly. Speed up the game itself. A bunt attempt, successful, throw to third, not in time. Moralia had him, but double clutched the throw. Right there. And the 3-2 pitch. Curve ball low, ball four. And NC State has walked in a run. Base is loaded, nobody out. Pitch, swung on, line into left field. That'll drop for a base hit in front of Nixon. Coming in to score is O'Connor. Cone holds at third. Arici moves up to second. It is 9-3, Quinnipiac. Last inning. One ball, oh, he struck out looking. Seven, it's 9-3, Quinnipiac, and that pitch is chopped. Back to the mound. Throw to the plate is in time to force Cone. So that's the second out of the inning. The left fielder up, and the pitch. Swung on, struck out, and it is 9-3 after six and a half. Three balls, two strikes, the pitch. Misses inside. One thing you can do with a six-run lead. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, the pitch. Ball four. Two-out walk. Play last year. Pitch is swung on, popped up, shallow right, going over his Maves. He drifts out into right field, and the ball falls out of his glove. Two runs a score, and the Wolfpack will get a gift. That was a ball A that Maves should have handled, and maybe one that he shouldn't have even had an opportunity to handle. I mean, that's, just, that's a lack of communication right there, Adam. And the pitch. Rolled over towards second. Maves will play it on a high hop, throw to first. And that retires the side. Melnick's been a problem for the Wolfpack. The pitch. Wide. Ball four. And Lachance draws a leadoff walk. And that pitch lined hard down the right field line. That is one hop, two hops off the wall. Getting to it quickly is Will Marcy. The throw goes into second base, and that allows Lachance to go all the way around and score. And it is now 10-5. to five. And an ill-timed mental error for NC State. Grounded towards third. Tough hop. Nice play by Josh Hood. Throw to first, dug out by White. So the Wolfpack yield another run. John Delaney, I don't, he had not made a decision yet on whether he was going to send the chance, but as soon as that that throw came, went all the way. By Yajima, the shortstop, that pitch served in the shallow right. Coming on is Melnick, he will not get it. And that's a base hit for Chase Nixon, his third of the game. Omaha, bunt, green. We'll move the runners up. 
And the pitch on the way. Swung on, grounded, over the bag at third, down into the corner. Two runs will score. Marcy scores. Nixon scores. 10-7. Quinnipiac. The James Groover with a two-run double. And you can tell Groover is still feeling the effects of whatever happened to him in that at-bat last night where he ended up coming out of the ballgame. See, gingerly trotted into second base, but what a big double by Groover. He, he's really had, had a heat-seeking missile on that third base line this at-bat. 10-7, Devontae Brown coming up. He won the 0-2. Grounded towards short and booted by Yajima. And the Wolfpack are in business. Tommy White, the right-handed batter, waits, and that pitch is smoked down the left field line. Fair, that's a base hit. In to score is LeJames Groover coming around behind him, Devontae Brown. It is a 10-9 ball game. Tommy White with a two-run double. The Wolfpack have put four up here with just one out in the eighth inning. I mean, Tommy White has shown early on in the season he is wanting to swing the bat early and often, and he just gets a pitch over the middle of the plate. And NC State has roared back here in this eighth inning. We're in day nine. Pitch. Inside, low, to the backstop. White is now 90 feet away from tying this game. On the year, and the pitch. Grounded towards first, booted by Cone. He'll have no play. The Wolfpack have tied it up. Adam, the errors had plagued the Wolfpack and, and they didn't go down as errors in the ball game, but you know, mental mistakes have plagued the Wolfpack. But the four errors now for the Bobcats have allowed NC State to get back into this ball game and tie it up. Second, one ball, two strikes. The pitch swung on, grounded towards the middle, gloved by Ujima. He flips to Maves at second base for the out, and we're calling it interference on the part of. Dom Palali, and this inning is over. So the rule is, and this is how NC State actually won their opening game in Omaha. It was a ground ball to JT Jarrett, the second baseman. The Stanford runner did not slide going into second okay, base. Okay, so you have to slide. So Jose Torres was unable to make a throw, regardless if the runner's already passed the back. And a fastball over call strike three. Villeman pumps his fist for NC State. That pitch is lined into the gap in right center, but moving over is Melnick, and he'll make the catch to retire the side four times. And the pitch on the way. Line drive, right field line. Going over is Marcy, and that ball is caught in the corner. Him right there. And the pitch is swung on and lined into left field for a base hit. It's much better to hit than be hit. And Green with his first base hit of the day. Two balls, one strike. And the pitch on the way, swung on, hit in the air to left. Going back, looking up, it is gone! Home run! LeJames Groover! And the Wolfpack have won it 10 to 12. Who needs a sprint when you can try? Le James Groover channeling his own inner Tommy White and just absolutely blisters one over the left field wall. And NC State, as you mentioned, down six runs twice this game, is able to come all the way back and win it to remain perfect on the season. Groover came in the game. He was in the on-deck circle for... Noah Souls, but never got a chance to hit.